Hello everyone, welcome to another video tutorial on serial communication. This time I'll show you guys how to use Visual Studio C++ to uh, access the serial port on your computer. So um, the ultimate goal is to create something like this. Uh, the end, end user interface where you can send the uh, string over a serial port and you can read the uh, buffer also. On the right side uh, is where you have uh, the COM port, uh, available COM port when you click on the drop down uh, box uh, and then you have to connect the ball rate and then you start the uh, port uh, close the port. So we, we'll first start off with the uh, the uh, drop down box. So let's click on file, new project, and you want to go on uh, Visual C++ here and under that click on COR and then click on Windows Form Application and you want to create a name for it. Uh, I'm just going to put uh, part 1 and click on OK. And if you don't have the toolbox on the left side, please click on View and click on Toolbox here. Uh, you, the first thing you'd want to do is you want to take the uh, serial port component here and just click on that and drag and drop over here. And that's and that's the first step. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to find the uh, combo combo box here. I think this this one to make sure is a combo box you want. This is the combo box. Yep. It's been a while since I um, played with C++ uh, since I switched over to C sharp. Um, okay, the combo box here. So it's click over here and, and drop over there. You can make this bigger if you want. All right. So we got our combo box, but that's not uh, that's not all. So this is combo box one. So uh, the, right now the drop down style is a drop down, but you actually want to change to a drop down list. See? So let's see how it looks. Click on uh, debug here. It's, it's doing its things. Gonna start pretty soon. So you want to do something like this. When you click on it, it's gonna drop down like that, and it's gonna show the available ports. So the next thing we need to do is work on the code part. Okay. So let's see. Go back to our reference here, and click on. Let me click on the code. So the first function we need to make is the find ports. Okay. So go back here and click on this and view. Notice uh, you can switch between the designer uh, designer uh, page and then the code page. So I switch to the code. So just under the initialized components, you want to do a function here called find find port find ports here. That's fine. Okay. And down here is where you want to uh, find ports. So you need to uh, define what the function is. So scroll down all the way here and just under the pragma and region part. You want to click there, comment on this, find uh, serial available ports. So, okay, let's go back to my reference. So, I'm just going to copy and paste and I'll explain this. See, that's my cheat sheet. And 
you can actually go online and download this on the source for just google serial um, C, visual, visual C++ and uh, you should be able to find the source code to download so uh, source source forge C uh, visual C++ uh, serial that's that's the keywords there and then you can see this is my uh, page uh, and you actually can download this uh, whole thing here uh, yeah for C++ you can do that or just follow the video and you you get there too so uh, okay so I copy and paste here and then this is the find port uh, function and then in here um, the thing is you need to store the port names uh, inside the object array here and then the difference between the C++, C++ and then the C Sharp in, in Visual Studio is that in uh, C++ you need to do the pointer disk to access the uh, various components on the panel uh, on the windows um, but uh, for C Sharp you, you don't need to do this step uh, the pointer so that's why I think uh, C Sharp is very uh, much more simpler to for beginners to get started on uh, working on these kind of serial projects. But um, whatever your taste, preferences uh, doesn't matter. Just uh, pick one and do it. It should be pretty similar. Okay. So find port uh, update on the combo box one that we just made. Uh, that's the at range here. The one thing that is um, uh, not sure about right now is that whenever we added the serial port object here or a class or whatever to uh, the f the Windows form, it doesn't add the uh, package here. So let me just going to test this uh, this out and see if it works. Let me uh, put in my serial port uh, USB to TTL converter so we have something to work with. Alright, uh, click on debug. So this error. Find ports here. Yep, so uh, that's the thing. Uh, I, I still need to do that extra step. I don't know why, it's probably a bug or something, but it should have include the uh, namespace uh, IO ports. So you want to do that to your, uh, add that to the uh, top here. So I added using namespace system IO ports. And that should take care of the uh, Zero report stuff here. Looks good so far. Okay, yeah. See, that's another thing I don't like about uh, the Visual Studio C++ because uh, it seems like they haven't uh, updated the the user interface, and it's not very. Uh, smooth uh, just like the uh, C sharp alright so you notice that when I click on the drop down box um, it lists the uh, serial ports available so uh, this will conclude the first uh, part of this series thanks for watching comment subscribe and tell me what you think thanks for watching